this is a video that explains um, what I'm showing in the blog in terms of manipulating relationships and creating service uh, methods on business object in Visual Builder Cloud Service. So first, what we have here in terms of business object, we have two business objects, airlines and travel request. Um, each travel request can belong to an airline, so this is the relationship you see here. If you look at the data, uh, you'll see we have a bunch of airlines, okay, so just their names. And then we have travel request, and you can associate a travel request with a specific airline. Okay. This, by the way, means that if you go to the overview, you'll see the relationship between the two over here, and you can also edit the relationship. Now, one thing that we're using from this relationship in the code um, is the accessor name. So over here, you can see the accessor of how to get from one object to the other. Um, for example, this is the name of the accessors that will allow us to access from the airlines over to the travel request. All right, so the next thing I wanted to show you is the business rules that we have on the airline object. Okay. On the airline object, we have two business rules. Um, one is actually a trigger, okay, which is a delete event. Okay. So let's look at a delete event. And in the delete event, we always execute sending an email. Okay. And in the sending email, we can look at the properties here. What we did is we basically dragged over an email. Okay, so send an email operation. Let me show you the template. Okay, so the template basically writes impact of removing the following airplane, and then we have a parameter, and we can actually change this to say airline. Okay, would be more correct. And so this is the first parameter, and then what we say in the text is this will impact the following employees, and here we have parameter two. Okay, so save. All right. Then we have the parameter. The first parameter, we're passing just the airline. Okay, and the second one, we're actually passing a function. So like you go over here and you click on it. To pass the airline, you simply just would do something like um, this, right? Pass in airline. Okay. Um, what we're passing here actually is a function called notify of delete. Okay, and you can see the two is indicating this is a function. So let's look at this function. Okay. So this function is what we call an object function, and it's over here. When you create an object function, you can specify parameters that it will receive, and you can specify a return type. This one returns a string. And then you write the code, you call write it in Groovy. In our case, what we're doing in the code is we're defining something called the children, which is mapped to the um, actual accessor of this airline object. Okay, so the travel request, remember from before. Then we are defining a return value and we have this as the initial text. We are checking if um, there's children. Okay, so basically if there exists anything in there, if there's next. If there aren't any children, we are returning there's no impact. If there are children, we are actually going to retrieve each one of the children get the name of the ch of the kid, basically, of the children object, and then concatenate it to our return value. So this little loop here goes over all the details of the children for the master object. In our case, all the travel request for the airline, and returns it. All right, so now that we know about those two objects, the method and the trigger, what we basically do is when we delete a record, we send an email telling people if there is an impact or no. And by the way, one thing that uh, you should know about the relationship right now between the two objects, okay, it marked to uh, restrict delete. Okay, so you can actually uh, control the behavior of a delete of a master on the details. Right now, restrict basically means I can delete a master if there are details to it. All right, so let's see what happens if we try and delete, for example, an airline. So we can try and delete Lufthansa, okay, and we can click delete, and it's removed, okay. And the reason it is removed is because there are no travel requests associated with Lufthansa. KLM, on the other hand, does have travel requests associated with it. So therefore, when I click delete on KLM, okay, I'll get this message that says can't remove airline, okay, because travel use request is using it. 
And that's fine with me. What I wanted to show you is the emails I'm getting as a result. So let's go to my email client. Okay. And you can see two emails that I got. The first one was when I was trying to remove Lufthansa and it said no impact. And when I was trying to remove KLM, I got the list of travel requests, which is currently Coldplay. Okay. And let's verify that this is correct. Yeah. And Coldplay is the traveler name. Okay, and again if we um, modify our data so for example um, go over to this record and add this one to also be in KLM okay, and then go again and try to delete KLM it again would prevent me from deleting the record okay, and I'll get a new email that now lists both Coldplay and James Patterson. So this is how you can create business rules uh, including uh, an object function and a trigger that leverage this object function to loop over the details.